Good morning and welcome to Erasmus TV. How are international students doing during the corona pandemic? And how is the university preparing for their arrival in the next academic year? Our guests today are Rose Corfer, Marketing and Communication Coordinator at the International Office, and Kara Sainsbury, Vice President and Marketing Manager at the Erasmus Student Network. And uh, we start with you, Rose. Talking about the next academic year, do you know how many international students uh, will come to our university? It is hard to say, um, but there's one thing that we know, and that is that we um, already processed over 400 um, immigration procedures for non-EU students. So they will be coming in September. Um, but for EU students, it's hard to say because they can travel across borders without an entry mm -hmm. visa. So we don't really know about that yet. But we hear that uh, we have a lot of m more students coming. Yeah, actually, um, we had more applications than last year, so that's a good well, that's a good news. But um, how many will actually come to the campus is still a little bit uncertain. Okay, and uh, now Kara, how are you and your fellow uh, international students doing? I think we're doing well. Uh, a lot of students went back home to their home country, and um, so they had to adjust to that but I think um, now a lot of students who stayed here in the Netherlands in Rotterdam are excited to see the new academic year starting again so hopefully in September and August there will be uh, more happening again than the last few months have and mm -hmm. I'm doing fine myself as well. Yeah. Did you get yourself a new hobby or a pet or a plan? Um, I actually moved so I actually oh. renovated um, a new apartment and so I learned a lot about DIY and painting so okay. uh, that's, that's so my new hobby. So you've been busy. Yes, yes. very busy. <laughs> well, Kara have, has, has been busy. Two international students, Ani and Riti, decided to go back to their home countries. Let's see how they experienced the last couple of months. Hi, my name is Ani, I'm from Latvia and I'm a first year student at Erasmus University. Ever since they announced that the lectures are going to be held online or that some of the borders are going to get closed, I packed a small bag and came back to Latvia and that's where I've been ever since the pandemic started. When I came back home, it was pretty sad because I didn't have much to do as I didn't have university to attend to or job I had because my new life at Rotterdam has suddenly stopped. I'm looking forward to a nice summer here at home, but I'm also very excited about the upcoming uh, academic year back in Rotterdam, returning back to Rotterdam and hopefully some of the things regarding university life are going to be back to normal. Hello everyone, my name is Rithi Agarwal and I'm currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in MISOC and I'm a first year international student. So as soon as the university closed down, I decided to come back home and stay with my parents in Qatar, which is in the Middle East. Now that it's been almost four months, it does get difficult sometimes, it does get hard sometimes because I'm so used to seeing my friends every day. We would always study together or just grab a pizza and have a movie night, so I do miss that. But I consider myself to be blessed because I was able to come back home. And knowing me, I would have been bored out of my mind if I stayed alone in Rotterdam. So I would say I have mixed feelings about coming back home. For the upcoming year, I am pretty optimistic. And I am really looking forward to come back to Rotterdam and have fun, enjoy with my friends and just have a good year in general. So, Kara, do you recognize what they said in the video, the boredom, the loneliness? Definitely, I think uh, we've seen that a lot. Uh, we tried to organize some online events uh, uh, at the start of uh, the pandemic, uh, and we chatted to some students through like a speed friending uh, platform, um, and we heard a lot that they really appreciated that we uh, organized something, so they had something to do on a Thursday night or a Monday night. Um, but as time went on, of course, like that also becomes a routine and becomes less, a little bit boring, yeah. so again, and we have, um, that means that we just had to reinvent uh, some certain things, but definitely recognize what they're feeling. I felt the same, I think. <laughs> you felt the same. But ESN has also a buddy project where you match a new student with, a, with another international student who already live here in Rotterdam. And uh, is this your way to combat the loneliness? 
Yeah, it's one of the ways that we combat loneliness. Um, the Buddy program is actually a really nice tool for um, students that are all over the all across the faculties to meet each other. So students who are new in the city will, will get matched up with a person who has been in the city, an international student or a Dutch student, yeah. for a little bit longer, okay. um, and they also uh, then spend some time together uh, as a more of a guiding. Um, place for them to be, so uh, if they have questions or something like that. But, but do you think the project has become more important during uh, the crisis uh, for international students? Um, I would hope so. I would, I'm just not entirely sure how the project will take shape, as we think that um, the project is very much uh, geared towards uh, the physical uh, activities, like how do I um, get onto public transport, how does that work, and we're not entirely sure how it would take shape in an online setting, okay. but we hope that we can maybe facilitate that in, in the new academic year. Yeah, and, and Rose, you are a contact person for incoming uh, international students. What kind of questions or worries have you come across? Um, well, mainly we get a lot of questions about, well, at the moment, um, new incoming students about, for example, their immigration procedure. Uh, when is my entry visa ready or my residence permit? Did you already receive my living fee? More practical, practical concerns yeah. like that. Um, also about housing. But the good news is that we still have housing available for next year on campus. The first time in years. Yes, <laughs> the first time in years, actually. Um, so I'm actually happy about that. So we can still welcome students here on campus campus to live here yeah. um, and well for, we also received some um, some concerns about um, paying the rent because well the COVID pandemic had uh, an impact also on financial the financial situation yeah. of students yeah. so uh, yeah we received many, many sorts of questions yes but how will you welcome the international students in this corona time what will what will be different um, well usually we have a, a soft landing program uh, which is mainly physical um, but this year it will be uh, a, well, a blended form so online and physical mm -hmm. for example the official welcome which is normally um, here uh, in the auditorium and that will be online because it is not possible to have a, a large group of students in one room um, but registration at the city hall at the one-stop shop will be physical in the large sports hall of Erasmus Sport. So, okay. yeah, it will be a blended version this year, but it will definitely be different than other years, yes. And Cara, um, the international office have to switch to mainly online activities. Is this also the case uh, with ESN? Um, yes, uh, we'll, um, we also have a uh, introductory period uh, right after the Eureka Week, actually, mm -hmm. uh, specifically geared towards international students just to show them around the city. And we'll definitely also have an online version uh, and a offline version of it so students can sign up to be uh, online because they can't be in Rotterdam and um, they can be online because they don't feel comfortable being uh, physically uh, present during the days or they can totally uh, experience the full full three days uh, four days with uh, both the online and offline activities so that will be very very nice and so th there will be no party because it's not an introduction <laughs> week without the party that's very true we'll, we'll probably try and do a um, Collaboration with mm -hmm. our uh, partner Cafe Burst, where we do a uh, more of a drink, so like a bull, which is the Dutch term for mm -hmm. it. Uh, so not a party until late, like a, a clubbing evening, but more of a relaxed uh, outside on the terrace uh, mm -hmm. drink, which will be really nice. But do you think the next academic year will be a good year, despite the circumstances? I definitely think so. Yeah. Uh, the, the board that is coming after me will definitely is very motivated to make a, a really interesting year and will want to move towards a place where everybody feel, feels comfortable participating in whatever social activity that they would like. Do so. you already have uh, ideas or plans for next year? Many different ideas are circulating. We tried to give a lot of creative freedom to our committee members, so um, we'll see what actually comes of the ideas, but many different ideas of outside spaces, one and a half meter activities, online pub quizzes, for example. So yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, and uh, Rose, do you agree with Kara that it will be a good year after yes, all? Yes, definitely, definitely. All students are welcome here. And as you already heard, um, ESN is organizing many fun activities. Um, we, well, yeah, well, we, we encourage students to sign up for the buddy program as well, because that's really helpful in, in getting to know the city and getting to know your fellow students. Um, and the Netherlands is actually uh, a relatively nice country um, to live in during a pandemic. Um, well, we're, we're, well, it's, it's many things are your own responsibility, and yeah. um, you well, 
I think it is a nice place to be here, yeah. And uh, do we have a corona measure for students who are coming here to the Netherlands? Yes, um, students who are traveling from a, a country with an orange color, uh, so-called by the Dutch Ministry of Foreign yeah. Affairs, they have to go into a 14-day quarantine. Um, and the international office is actually right now setting up uh, quarantine services. Um, for students who have to live in quarantine for 14 days. Uh, yeah. For example, how can I get my groceries, um, keeping in touch with other students online or with the international office. Um, so that's to be continued. Yes, okay. definitely. We'll, wait. we'll be waiting. And uh, the last question for both of you. Do you have some tips for uh, internationals, both here in Rotterdam or those who are coming? Well, for those who are coming, I can say um, arrange your housing uh, on time, prepare that. Um, well, um, arrange your insurance as well mm -hmm. before traveling here. So uh, be sure that you're insured while you're traveling. Um, yeah, and the only thing I can say is um, you're welcome here. And uh, I hope that many students will come to Rotterdam next year. And Kara? I would say that you just, um, if you are coming uh, to Rotterdam, to have uh, try and have the best time that you can. F like, don't feel pressured into anything. Um, make sure that you feel most comfortable in the activity or the social program that we try to organize or any other association on, on campus. And if you are not joining us um, in Rotterdam or if you're joining us off uh, online, I mean, then that's also, of course, uh, you're more than welcome and we're trying to, we'll try to facilitate as much as possible for you. Okay, so you are all welcome. Welcome and thank you Rose and Kara for being here and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to visit our website erasmusmagazine.nl. I'll see you next time.